Hello to all of you tonight, and uh, sorry we can't be there, but what a great tribute to Scott. And I hope Patty was there tonight to uh, share in that tribute. Uh, Scott was a great friend for a long time, all these many, many years, and uh, we were able to attend his uh, funeral service out in Boulder. It was beautiful in a chapel where he was a in a small church, a chapel like where he was uh, active uh, in his childhood days there in Boulder. So uh, that means a lot to have a tribute like this tonight. Annie and I are very sorry we can't be with you tonight. You know, sometimes as we get to our senior year status, other factors dictate what we can do and can't do, and we're in one of those moments now, although we're doing, we're doing fine and coming back in, in great shape. Thank you. You know, back to the start of the uh, Astronaut Scholarship Foundation. It goes back a lot of years, and we're particularly sorry we can't be there tonight because it is an anniversary and an important anniversary. And I was thinking about how the whole thing started. And to the best of my recollection, the first person that came up with this idea was Henry Landworth. So many of you know, a victim of the Holocaust and who used to head up the, he was the uh, innkeeper at the old Holiday Inn back in the early days when, when we were spending a lot of time in, uh, in Florida. And we got to be very close friends. All, all the, that first seven knew Henry very, very well. And then when some of us started leaving to do other things uh, after we had flown, Henry thought that we should keep close tabs because he, more than most people, was aware of what a close-knit group uh, that group of astronauts was. You know, the, the first seven were fiercely competitive uh, to get assigned for for flight status, but uh, once the flights were established, once the, once the assignment was made, then everybody turned to and was so supportive. You never saw a team work work any closer together than we did back then. And Henry thought that that closeness should be continued, and he had talked about it some. And finally, uh, Al Shepard was the one who sort of picked this up and decided to see what he could do with it. And as I recall. I think Al Newharth, who was publisher of the of USA Today, had a home just south of Cocos Beach, and uh, Al talked to him about this. I think he made the first sizable contribution, Al Newharth, that really got the, the whole thing started. And then there have been so many people, I won't even try to name all the people, including former astronauts who have been very, very active in moving this, moving this whole thing forward. And it's been very, very successful. I think any program like this that has awarded sizable scholarships, these are not small ones, sizable scholarships to some 350, 350 people. And these people, by and large, are want to give back what they received as help through the Astronaut Scholarship Fund. And they're doing that with their alumni association. And I think that's good. And you know, to put it in a big context, we need more of that in this country. Uh, we're in a competitive position around the world now, more than we've ever been before. And this, this area of, of STEM education and technology, the science, technology, engineering, and math, that our alumni from this scholarship group that they sponsor and they work with young people and they, they support uh, the new scholars that are being named. And uh, that's a great and forceful thing that is happening. It's for the good of our, our country. So I think we can all be proud of, of the scholarship fund and what is done, but particularly proud of the people who have gone through this program and are continuing uh, to remain active in it. So, uh, it was a great start back then, and uh, it's been a lot of years in advancement, but uh, has worked out very, very well. The uh, It's unique. I don't know of any other group like this uh, that has been formed anywhere in the world with uh, this kind of people getting behind it and doing support for it. So uh, 
I'm just once again, I'm very, very sorry that uh, Annie and I could not be there tonight, but uh, uh, we'll be thinking about you and trying to be, and we'll try to be there next year. But before I close, there's some other people I want to congratulate also. Uh, Shannon Lucid and Jerry Ross, two very, very accomplished astronauts with great achievements. Shannon, for her long term and, and other things that she's done in the in space flight, and Jerry Ross, seven space flights. I'm envious of that one. Seven flights. That's a, that's an enormous amount of flying in space. So congratulations to them for their selection and. Uh, we look forward to being with you all next year. We're going to put that on the schedule and hope we can be with you then. So good luck and thank you all for supporting the Astronaut Scholarship Fund.